Welcome to Work in Progress, a virtual worship experience of Myers Park Presbyterian Church. Today we're celebrating Christmas, and at the heart of Christmas is the incarnation of God's love in Christ. And that's what we're here to celebrate. And for our Christmas worship, there's really nothing better than hearing the sacred story, the, the greatest story ever told, and singing the songs. So we're so thankful you've joined us for this worship, and we invite you to listen to the story once again and to sing the songs with us as we celebrate the birth of the newborn king. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God 
to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be? In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven 
and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing all flames And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains Oh, 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 oh Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? What the gladsome tidings be Which inspire your When Albert Einstein was 16 years old, he began developing his theory of special relativity. And he did it by imagining that he was riding a light beam alongside another light beam, traveling at 186,000 miles a second, which is more than 670 million miles an hour. What were you doing when you were 16 years old? I was trying to pass physics learning to drive in my mom's Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser, which had an average speed of about 38.9 miles an hour, nothing near the speed of light. But what Einstein realized was that nothing in the universe travels faster than light, that light is essentially infinite speed. What that means is that ultimately, light will always catch darkness. Light will always overcome darkness in the races of life and death. The Gospel of John puts it a different way. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What's come into being in Him is life, and that life is the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness shall never overcome it. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth, and we have beheld His glory, the glory as of a Father's only begotten Son.
Beloved, remember Jesus' words to us. You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before all people that they might see your good works and give glory to our God in heaven. Go in peace this Christmas to love and to serve the Lord, to be the light that shines in the darkness, the light no darkness can ever overcome. As you go on your way, may the grace of Christ attend you and the love of God surround you and the Holy Spirit keep you, that you might live in faith and abound in hope and grow in love this day and forevermore. And all God's people say, Amen.